Hello, Captains, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, partly sunny and a bit detached, I think, for the Capricorns. Couple things going on from my conclusion. On the first hand, there's the moon in Gemini, which just came off of Mars while we were sleeping. Now, when the moon's in Gemini, your emotions are really infused with your daily reality. So, having come off of Mars, I'm expecting Capricorns to wake up, maybe from some funky dreams, maybe even violent dreams. That would be the pure definition of it. And maybe just not feel like you're connected to reality. Maybe you wake up late. Maybe you're running late. It's that kind of anxiety of Mars mixing with emotion and mixing with your daily reality. So I think it'll be kind of a brutal morning, but things will kind of uh, shape up for you in the afternoon. And most likely, you'll probably want to detach. Capricorns love to detach when things go wrong. Not a bad thing, actually. It's a skill other people have to learn. And today, that's why I think you'll be a bit detached. Also, on top of that, the, t the sun today is ruled by Jupiter, which is expansion and philosophy. The sun right now for you is in the house of philosophy and belief structure, and Saturn is getting a lot of pressure on that border too. Saturn moves into Virgo. Actually, it's in Virgo, but it's not quite one degree, so I don't think we see its magic just yet. And I thought it'd be a good time to really talk about what Virgo means to Capricorns and really all the signs. We don't think about this very often. The last time Saturn was in Virgo was 1977. So if you're old enough to know that date, this is the last time the universe worked on this area of your consciousness. Now, Saturn is in the house of belief structure for Capricorns, and unlike any other sign, I'm going to bring up another future transit, Pluto. Pluto will be moving into your sign the fourth week in January. And by the way, only about four or five signs get to experience a Pluto transit in their lifetime. And I always say to clients, if you have a Pluto transit in this life, that means you pick this life for a big spiritual complete rewrite, which officially begins next year. And before that begins, Saturn will be going through your house of beliefs. And I think what this is, is Capricorn's reality is about to be blown open. Whatever it is you think about, you overthink about it. That's because Virgo's in your house of belief structure. And in the next two years, you'll be peeling off all the false layers that no longer apply to your life. So basically, sit back and enjoy the ride, Capricorn. The world's about to expand immensely. All right, that's all we have for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So good.